So for design brief seven on MS9, uh, we chose prompt A, which was tell a story about the proudest moment for your team and what made it meaningful, and we chose to do the video option for this. Um, our team encountered many unexpected difficulties during the construction phase of our OTB, which are kind of expected. Um, these range from malfunctioning servo motor and needing to wait for the shipping for that. And, um, you know, we fraud an Arduino and we needed to wait for the shipping for the replacement. And there was unanticipated wheel camber. So all of these issues, along with a few others uh, that came along with the design process, really made it seem like we couldn't catch a break. However, during a late night open lab session, after several hours of troubleshooting, we were able to get our new servo to move our mission arm. And this seemed like a big step compared to what had come before. It was a huge relief to everyone on the team. And this is because in the beginning of the build phase, we had a lot of trouble with wheel camber. Um, our motor mounts were 3D printed instead of purchased from online. So our material was PLA instead of like machined aluminum. And the material was able to bend obviously because PLA is not as sturdy as aluminum. So the mounts kept caving in from the weight of everything on the chassis, causing our OTV to be a little bit offset. And there was a, a little bit of rubbing on the chassis and the wheel because our axle was slightly protruding from the chassis. So there was a torque applied whenever the um, pressure was put on the wheel. So the mounts caved in a little bit and this causes the, is caused, the, caused the wheels to turn in a little bit. So there was rubbing, it wasn't working properly. So we had to design a supplementary mount that would support the motors, preventing everything from caving in, which delayed our process by a few class periods. Uh, we also had issues regarding the belts for the wheels because we use a tank driven system um, our motors were on the rear wheels and belts were driven to the front wheels to um, make it all wheel drive. Um, but our belts were too long and they would not fit on the motor mount. So we had to cut the wheels or cut the belts down to a smaller size using glue. Um, however, reattaching the belts together was very difficult once we had cut them because the glue had a hard time sticking and many times the belts would just become unattached in the middle of the class period. We were able to solve this by using an additional piece of fabric on top of the connection of the two um, cut ends, and this uh, made it work fine, but still it was just another setback. Um, another issue that we had was with the electrical components of our OTV, and this was one of our biggest issues, uh, definitely. We accidentally shorted the first Arduino Romeo we used and somehow managed to damage the built-in H-bridge on the second one. We solved this problem by using an external H-bridge for the new Ardu Arduino, and just wrote the code so it bypassed the onboard H bridges. Uh, the process was very, very frustrating though because waiting for shipping meant we would have much less time for testing. And as I mentioned earlier, we also had a servo that did not move the way we wanted it to as it was too fast and aggressive for the arm. Even when we implemented PWM, it was just too jerky. We needed a, we needed a smooth motion uh, to lower over our candles and put out the flames. Um, when we used this, we checked over our code a thousand times, it looked like it was fine. We agreed that buying a new server was necessary since we were still under budget and our original server wasn't working properly. So once we got the new servo and uploaded the code that we had, it finally worked. It lowered onto the candle pedestal at the exact speed that we wanted it to and it was finally able to extinguish the, the flames for Milestone 7. Um, unfortunately, our arm did not function correctly during the previous milestones. Uh, but we were so proud and excited that it would be able to work properly for the final performance after all the work that we put in, after all the setbacks that we had. So overall, it felt like things were going against us uh, for the majority of time during the OTV construction. There were a lot of delays, like we said, a lot of setbacks, but we're very proud of how things turned out. Um, looking back at the moment in the lab, it felt very, very relieving knowing that all of our setbacks were still able to produce a working mission subsystem uh, to get rid of some of our objectives for MS-7. So that was the story about the proudest moment for our team and what made it meaningful. Thank you.